Morning to Sea Talk. Today we have Jack Matthews from Bradley Supermarket from Corn. Welcome to Sea Talk, Jack. Morning, everybody. Morning, Paul. So, Jack, the family, the store's been in the family for over 100 years. So, do you want to give uh, um, people on Sea Talk a brief history about Bradley's? Yes. So, I'm a fifth generation. Um, so, it was originally started on horse and cart in the same area we're in today. Um, kind of led by the founder who was Charles Ernest Bradley, which sort of founded CE Bradley's as we were. Um, and sort of really down to my, probably my granddad really was the was the driver of the business who sort of took it from a mobile shop. Um, we've now got two stores. Um, he kind of joined the nicer um, sort of symbol group and sort of developed the business probably into what it really is today. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so we've, we've kind of come a long way along the way. Uh, this is our 100th year anniversary so for us we kind of wanted to do something where we felt you know kind of put a marker in to sort, sort of bring on the next 100 years and sort of the challenge of the modern retailer so mm -hmm. that's why we've gone ahead with the sort of the development that we have so your third generation into the business um you know taking the reins from uh, from paul your dad absolutely and tried. um you also play an active role within nicer as well don't you Yes, so I sit on sit on the monitoring group alongside, obviously alongside yourself, Paul. Um, yeah, I'm kind of involved involved in that stance. You know, like to try and be involved in you know sort of the supply level as much as possible, just to try and get the best out of it. You know, get the best for the store. Okay, cool. And the store that you're now um, redeveloping, so you're extending it. Um, obviously, you know we've seen some pictures of uh, before um, you started doing the store. And, you know, I think it'd be good to just explore, you know, why are you making these changes and what changes you're putting into some. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, we've, yeah, we haven't really kept a lot of things the same. So there's the sort of the, the old, the old front, um, the area we're in, we have to have a, a wooden shop front, which brings a few challenges definitely when it comes mm -hmm. to planning. So we've had, we've stuck with the wooden shop front and, you know, sort of updated the colour scheme to sort of a more modern sort of grey and, a new branding from ourselves. Uh, we've gone dual branding with Nicer. Um, you know, our brand okay. is very important to us to help us stand out. So that's all from the front of the store. Um, so in in store, you was very big with flowers and uh, coming up into the season. We're coming up into spring with the plants. So will that continue outside, or are you going to bring all that in? Inside the yeah, store so now. yeah, it's, it's hard to show on sort of the picture. So we've kind of swapped the store around. So you enter on the other side now. So you you're entering in sort of the longest part of the store, a bit of a funny shape. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, we've we put flowers and fresh produce is really at the heart of what we do. Um, we were originally a green grocer business, so for us, produce has always been a key one to to maintain a very good standard on. So yeah, we're hoping sort of with the new units new look and feel we're hoping to really sort of push on again with the produce and sort of the the flowers and um, we had a really good good year last year on bedding plants and stuff like that so mm -hmm. once again we you know we're kicking that off this weekend when we reopen and looking forward to hopefully another successful summer you know across the board with it all so the store's been closed since last week now hasn't it yeah so we closed last uh last thursday night so yeah we've been closed over this weekend with a plan to open this friday it will happen one way or yeah. another and it's it's good to see on your facebook that you still do newspapers from the back door to keep uh keep your customers uh, you know still interacting with the store yeah definitely um you know i think when we originally started doing it we kind of put a, the, the the shop fitters put boarding up inside um, mm -hmm. and we actually we actually told them to sort of take that down within the first kind of day and you know have a bit where people can see you know for us it's very important that the community gets on board with us you know we don't want to yeah. go against them you know we want them to feel part of it as well you know a lot of the graphic work we've done in sort of the new store which is being installed tomorrow is centered around you know ensuring that that customer feels right at the heart of the store okay so you going with the the new nicer look and feel are you are you still trying to do it very much keeping the Bradley's heritage in, inside the store as much as you're doing outside as well yeah, to be fair, we've probably we've kind of taken the new nicer look, and then we've kind of thrown our brand onto it. To be honest, um, yeah, like I could say the colour scheme. We've we've sort of redeveloped our logo to kind of match the colour scheme slightly, so it all fits in really nicely. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, like you say, we, we we've tried to make the store stand out. We don't want it to feel standard. You know, we do want it to you know to feel special in areas, definitely. 
and that's a big point for you now isn't it so where you've got the um your previous kitchen um so this is i know you've been looking at this and uh doing a lot of research bringing this into your store so the whole kitchen is coming in into the store now and, and uh, i hear you're going to start doing your own ready meals as well working hard on um working hard on the kitchen for probably for about two years now it's been a real challenge for us um lots of headaches lots of ways of thinking of which way is the best to take it so mm -hmm. we finally sort of came up with a model that we we think we can make work so we've sort of earlier on in the year and just after christmas we moved the kitchen from the store into sort of the warehousing area and built a purpose-built unit within there um to sort of go forward with so once the store's kind of launched up and running that's our sort of our focus is to get straight in there and obviously to to, to try and carry out the work that we've obviously started with giving the you know the equipment and everything now we've just got to find mm -hmm. the right people and try and get it flowing okay and it, with with the store is there particular categories you've cut down or particular categories that you've given more space to um with the new store now yeah, so probably similar to similar to most people, really. Um, we've radically reduced, you know, some of the ambient categories that have probably been in, you know, steady decline for a number of years now. Mm -hmm. uh, we've radically increased our fresh. I think we've gone from seven bays of chilled foods up to about thirteen or fourteen. I think now, so radically increased the ranges. Uh, we've we've put bigger emphasis on perhaps speciality things that set us aside. Mm -hmm. So we're having a, we've introduced a refill section. Uh, we've you know we've got a purpose-built egg house unit. You know just to you know bring some feature and you know some focus to the store. We've looked at our frozen ranges. Probably going on sort of last year's kind of growth in frozen, probably from the pandemic, but kind of looking like it's going to stay with us for a long time. So we've mm -hmm. introduced cooks frozen meals. Okay. Um, at the same time, we've also gone through the existing frozen range and increased a lot of sort of the vegan, vegetarian ranges just to try and help us stand out a little bit from from the competition. Mm -hmm. Within here, there's a large. We put a large vegan section in, which we had done before, um, and we sort of taken the lessons probably from that from the you know the previous sort of twelve months it was in store and tweaked it again. So mm -hmm. hopefully, we're hoping that's going to be really successful this time round. Okay, and then from the front of the store, are you you keeping it to standard checkout? So you are now introducing self checkout as well. Yeah, to be honest, it's probably one of the talking points of the of the refit has sort of been self checkouts. We started off originally with checkouts, then we mm -hmm. went to self checkouts, then we came back to checkouts, then we went to a fifty fifty split. Um, but we have decided to stick with the sort of standard four manned checkouts at the moment we just felt the self-service was a little bit ahead of its time for, for village retailing yes um, we felt there was probably a little bit of a rush just yet you know we've, we've kind of designed the store so we can kind of include them perhaps in mm -hmm. sort of five years time when we look to do sort of a you know a mini revamp or a refresh you yeah, know, it's probably something we can add in okay that's that's really good and so you're launching on friday this week we're attempting to launch on Friday this week. It doesn't quite look like a finished store yet, but you know, it will it will happen one way or another. Well, and and you're going to you, obviously you're doing your home delivery. Um, any plans to increase that? Yeah, so we currently deal with um, Appy Shop. Um, we have we were sort of we, we were part of the sort of the trial of building it. Um, obviously yeah. during the pandemic, took off massively for us, um, and we did really well. To be honest, we have taken some learnings from it. Um, mm -hmm. I think for, from our aspect, we've probably realised that I think in the independent game, it's kind of got to be an instant instant service. So I think some of those guys were sort of snappy shop who have been doing really well with the sort of 30 minute to an hour delivery um, mm -hmm. are probably on the ball. So we, we, we're kind of looking to try and include the whole business. So we, we're thinking along the lines at the moment of obviously changing it to 30 minutes to an hour delivery. Um, and then we're also looking at the opportunities. You know, we've got yeah, Tango Ice Blast being installed for Whip. Obviously, we've yeah. got the kitchen, so we've possibly got the opportunity to either make hot meals or we could even look down the sort of dessert desserts line. We could have a bit of a desserts business, you know, on Just Eat or something, you know. Okay. Op open eyes at the moment to it all. So some interesting stuff coming this Friday. It'd be great to uh, to come back and, uh, you know, maybe do a Facebook Live with you on, you know, in-store. And um, you know, show you know fellow retailers on site what you've done with the store. It'd be really good yeah. to um, to showcase some innovation. 
No, definitely, definitely. <laughs> Once it's all finished off, you're more, yeah, more than welcome, definitely. Yeah, great news and uh, good luck with the, the launch on Friday, Jack. And thanks for coming on Sea Talk. No worries, Paul. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you.